Hi, I'm Christy Morris, and I was asked to give a testimony about tithing. All growing up, I can look back on Sunday mornings and think about my mom sitting down and writing a check. And as she did, she would explain to all of us that this is the money that the Lord has given us and we will give 10% back. And then that carried over and I can remember as a child getting allowances and we were told the very same thing. This is what the Lord has given you, 10% goes back to Him. And so growing up, I always had that model and as I've gotten older and I have my own career now, it's the same for me. When I get a check, anytime, salary, bonus, any check that comes in to me, I sit down right away and write a 10% check back to the Lord to give to church. And as I sat down the other day to talk about tithing with my father, um, I realized I'm definitely glad that I had that model in my life, that it was not questionable at the end of the month, do I have money to give for tithing or not? No, I give it from the very beginning, and it's mandatory now in my life, just like it's mandatory to pay my house payment or anything along those lines. Um, I've always made it what comes off very first. And as I was speaking to my father about this and thinking about how God has blessed me financially, I was so amazed to think about the times whenever I've gone to Nicaragua. It's absolutely my passion. Um, you know, I beam from ear to ear the second I get there. And God has blessed me in that area. Whenever I graduated in 2012 from physical therapy school, that was the very first time I was going to Nicaragua. I came straight out of school. I had nothing, no income, no job, just student loans that were coming my way. But um, as I did fundraising for that trip, God provided down to the absolute penny for that trip. And ever since then, I have been blessed to go to Nicaragua two to three times a year. And every time it works out, some I've done fundraising for, but some I've written a check and gone. I've taken a week off unpaid, but at the end of the month, it's taken care of. And not to say that there are not times during the month that I look at the end and think, whew, it's going to be rough, but every time I squeak by somehow, and God takes care of it every time. So I, I pray that um, if there's anybody out there that hears this and you are struggling with tithing and at the end of the month it's hard and you're thinking, how am I going to pay this? Um, I pray that God gives you peace, that as you take that step forward in tithing, that God just gives you a peace, that he has got you surrounded and he will completely take care of all your needs.